So I was here reading um, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Wallace again. This, this is my fourth time reading it. And the reason doing so is because of the repetition, right? Um, I remember hearing my mentor Bob Proctor say, when you read a book for the second time, it's not, you will see something in there that it was always in there. But because you read it again, it, it's not that that thing was in a book. It's just that you became something different. And so you could recognize it. You could see, you know, what the book is saying, right? So that's why I keep reading the same exact chapter over and over and over again. I may read The Science of Getting Rich, um, I don't know, for the rest of my life because it's, it's such a phenomenal read. And I didn't even know that um, the lady who created The Secret, that it was because her daughter gave her the book, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Wallers, okay? I, I thought that, you know, when things come to me like that, it's, it's so dope, just like how the universe has been working in my life, like how everything, it goes together, like all the synchronicities and you know, things of that nature. And when I tell you guys, when you follow your heart, you don't have to compete. When you follow your heart and do the thing that you was created to do, I mean, you live this life of abundance. You live this life from love, this life um, of peace. And not saying that you're not going to face obstacles or whatever it is like that, because you are. And the obstacles or the difficulties that come to you in life, it is so you could build the character, okay? Build your character. Another thing is, you know, everything that we go through and we grow through, it is not for us, right? Like, one of the things the book also talks about, the science of getting rich, is, you know, you could be the poorest man on a continent, but if you desire to become rich, you can be so. You can do so. And what really got me tearing up was, um, and, and it's funny because I keep thinking like that. You know, this morning I was thinking, you know, the, the idea came to my mind, like the content, the videos for today. And... I said this in a previous video of mine, where I get my titles from, like when I make videos, majority of the time is from the books. It's, it's like source points me in a direction that it wants me to see. Like it could be a word or so. And I put that on my videos titles. And so when I tell you that you will be led in a direction, but you have to listen to your intuition. You have to listen to source. Whatever you deem source to be, you can't get wet from sand water. But when you start having faith, and not that faith that, you know, well, I got to see it, but the faith of, you know, like, I know things working out. So the part that really got me was this. It says, is, is the chapter that talks about gratitude. It says, first you believe that there is, let me start from the beginning. Then. The illustration given in the last chapter will have conveyed to the reader the fact that the first step towards getting rich is to convey the idea of your wants to the formless substance. This is true, and you will see that in order to do so, it becomes necessary to relate yourself to the formless intelligence in a harmonious way. Harmonious way. To secure this harmonious relationship is a matter of such primary and vital importance that I shall give some space to his discussion here and give you 
instructions, which if you will follow them, will be certain to bring you into perfect unity of mind with God. The whole process of mental adjustment and atonement can be summed up in one word, gratitude. First, you believe that there is one intelligent substance from which all things proceed. Second, you believe that this substance gives you everything you desire. And third, you relate yourself to it by a feeling of deep and profound gratitude. So when I was reading this, right, um, the the first one, like, you believe that there's one intelligent substance from which all things proceed, right? So if you're thinking, like, well, I need, like, if you stressed over bills or whatever it is, is something, when I went on my seven-day water fast, right, I just kept listening to Dr. Miles Monroe, a video um, that helped me um, stay on my seven-day water fast. And I wasn't watching TV or nothing. And it was just like, it was like really, really spiritual. And I remember it was something that Dr. Miles Monroe said. And I don't know the Bible word for word, but one of the things he said was, he said, Jesus said, look at the birds and pretty much like the, and I'm paraphrasing, all right? Like pretty much the birds don't worry about where they going to get food from or whatever it is like that. And it says something like Jesus said, um, why do you worry? Like, in other words, you looking for things outside you, outside your existence to give you whatever it is that you desire. But when you tap into that source, one of my favorite books is um, Vernon Howard, The Mystic Path to Cosmic Power. That book is, for me, is like a really inspirational um life-changing book because even in that book it talks about search for the kingdom like instead of you searching outside yourself search within and that's why I say and it puts me in a mind of me listening to one of the things that Eric Thomas said he was like you know you searching your gift is going to make room for you you know is is your gift that's what's going to do it And I remember hearing Dr. Miles Monroe say, he said, no one could ever fire you from your gift. And so to the person that's out there, like by me doing these videos, you know, when I first started, I just wanted people to understand that it was something else in life besides them working hard and paying bills. Like it, it was like this epiphany that, you know, at once I was like, I know I didn't come here for this, right? I know I didn't come here to work for somebody else and just pay bills and do all these things. I know I came for something different. But by me kept saying, you know, I kept on saying it. It was like, you know, I was seeking what I really came here to do. And when you seek, you will find it, you know? And that's why, like, I'm so big on, you know, don't search outside yourself. I mean, you search outside yourself looking for love or looking for whatever it is. And, you know, the real power is within you. That's where the real power is. And so I highly recommend you guys get this book. Um, It's changing my life right before my eyes. Um, but it's a multitude of things that I do, right? And and I've been doing these things for years, but what I really believe, I really believe it was like my water fast that it it was like it gave me that time to be with my higher self. It gave me that time to 
unplug. It gave me that time to, you know, just keep on reading. It gave me that time to um, have an unwavering um, set of faith. Like, it, it gave me that time to just, like, to tap in, you know? And um, you have the power within you. You just got to step into it. You know, it's, it's not that you're not going to be faced with adversity because you will. Um, but the adversity is there to help you. It's there to help you grow. And every step of the way, everything that you get faced with is like, you know, if it's not for the adversity, then you won't build the character, right? A certain character. Then you won't develop a certain amount of faith. That's what I believe, right? And so when you're doing these things, your life, it just starts changing, you know? And it's, it's really the repetition. It's really, really the repetition. And divine timing because I had this book for two years. And I would read it every now and then. But I remember someone, Yusuf L. Um, from High Frequency Radio, he said what changed his perspective was the science of getting rich. And I don't believe in coincidence. And isn't it funny? I had this book for two years and I would read some parts of it, but I never really came across the science of getting rich. I may have seen it, but passed by it. So when I say you'll be led to the place that you need to be led to, you will, you will. And when I say that Source is always working in your favor. Just follow your heart and follow these laws of this here universe. Things going to come together in such a profound way that it's like all the stuff that you desired. Even as a kid, right? Growing up in a certain type of way. And you may have thought like, damn, this is, this is just what my life, it has to be. But it's not true. It's not true. And what really, really do it for me is understanding that our spirits had made contracts to come here the time that we came, that we are here. And um, knowing it, right? So it's not like a mistake that you're here. And it's not a coincidence that you have been born the time that you have been born or the family that you was born into. None of those things are coincidence. And so with that being said, I love you guys. Um, it's a part of me. I know I got to do my goals I got to write my goals down every day, but it's a part of me that, um, I can see like, you know, a little bit of resistance that's coming up with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my goals down right now and listen to Brian Tracy. I love you guys.